Hello everyone. Uh, this video is going to be about a rebranding of Live TT Scoreboard. Uh, it is now going to be called Open Scoreboard, and there's a couple changes that are coming with that. Um, so let's go ahead. If if you're new to the channel, um, you might not know what Live TT Scoreboard is. Um, so let's go over it real quick. Um, if you haven't used Live TT Scoreboard or Open Scoreboard before, it's a web-based application for uh, overlaying scoreboards on top of video. Um, it's more popularly used for live streaming because it's all done in real time. Um, but it can also be done for you know videos that you want to uh, add a scoreboard to um, later on uh, in some so. Uh, but the, the app itself, uh, gives you sort of three different things. It gives you a scorekeeping interface, uh, for users and scorekeepers to use a drag and drop editor for you to customize what your scoreboard looks like. And then it gives you, uh, another page or, a URL that you can use for the actual scoreboard overlay, whether it be, um, a courtside scoreboard that you're using, um, for players and stuff to, to look at the scores in person, or if it's just an overlay that is uh, over your your video stream. So kind of like, uh, like right here, uh, you'll have that over your video with a transparent background. So that's kind of what live TT scoreboard slash open scoreboard is. Um, the reason for the renaming of it uh, is mostly because it is now an open source project. So I have open sourced the code. So um, if you're a developer and you're passionate about either table tennis, pickleball, another sport, um, you can use this platform uh, to essentially make it a little bit easier than having to make your own scoreboard app yourself. Um, so uh, yeah, if any of you would like to check out the code, uh, contribute towards it, add add a new sport, you know, be my guest. Um, you can access it here with the uh, URL on the screen and um, looking forward to seeing any contributions that you may have. Uh, if you have any comments or anything like that as well, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. And um, the license is GPL V3 in case anyone needs to know, um, which is, you know, hopefully more uh, likely to bring uh, contributions to this project and more sports. Um, so just a little bit more detail. Um, so the scorekeeping app, uh, this is a little screenshot of what the homepage looks like at least. Um, so essentially you set up tables or courts, any sort of playing area, which is normally your streaming setup. Um, and you can keep score from there. Uh, you can import lists of players. Um, so that you don't have to type in their names as they're playing. You can set up teams for league matches and it will automatically keep a uh, score of the, the team score, not the act or whoever's won matches for their team. Um, and it's built kind of on a mobile uh, friendly platform. So it's more so for uh, phones and, and whatnot. Um, except for the editor, which is more of a desktop based uh, application. Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, it is all drag and drop. Um, so essentially there are kind of these uh, smart components um, or components that represent certain kinds of data in your, your match. And uh, each one kind of reacts differently. And so it kind of builds the dynamicness of the, the scoreboard application. Um, and you, know, you can spend some time creating your own scoreboard, dragging and dropping all these different components, doing the different settings. And then when you're comfortable with it, you can export it as well. And um, I'll be providing, I guess, a, you know, some, some sample ones um, that you should be able to find somewhere on the, the open scoreboard website. Um, so I'll provide those in a little bit. And then um, this this editor does allow for pretty much almost full customization. Um, there's maybe like some uh, 
animations and stuff that could be added, but um, for the most part, you can, as long as you bring your own um, unique style uh, to your scoreboard, you can pretty much make most most designs. And then the final portion of it is just uh, the, the scoreboard overlay. So once you've done everything in the editor and you save your changes, um, there will be a separate URL that you'll plug into your streaming software. Um, and just as a reminder that this is not actually a streaming software, it's just simply a overlay on top of uh, your video. So um, you can use it. There's several different softwares, um, some of them free, some of them not, uh, just a couple like uh, Prism Live Studio, OBS, Wirecast, Streamlabs. There's a bunch of different softwares that allow you to stream and they'll like the screenshot up above here, you have your, your video inputs and everything. Um, and then this screen right up here um, is where you put in the URL that Open Scoreboard provides you. And then um, you can see a little preview of what the scoreboard would look like and you just place it on top of your stream. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Um, I will have some more videos to come about the, the new platform, um, how to access it. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave uh, a comment down below and uh, I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.